SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has been really active in the last two weeks about global warming and climate change. He was at Paris at the time of the COP21 at the Sorbonne, the university in Paris. He gave a talk about the importance of carbon taxes. And also he came back to the States and this week at San Francisco at a different conference. Again, he went for a long, long time about how much is need, uh, how much a carbon tax is needed, Nick. And he used an analogy that really, really helped me uh, explain to other people why this could be a good idea, but also brings forward the, the perils of the idea. The idea that paying tax for the carbon is like paying for the trash collection. That if we use these fossil fuels and we put this emission out there, we should be responsible of collecting that garbage. And I think drives that point home. We can't go through life using these fossil fuels and expecting that the garbage that comes out of that use just goes away. Coming from the guy who wants to nuke Mars, I mean, you know, it, it's great. It's a very good metaphor, right? And it makes us, you know, understand this a little bit easier. But, you know, we can't clean up or collect the CO2 the way that we would garbage cans, right? So he's kind of saying we need to tax um, these these fossil fuels to give people an incentive to wean off of them and, and, and stop using them. I think that's the goal here, uh, ultimately, right? Correct. He went to say that pretty much what we have right now in terms of energy is like having a high tax on fruit and vegetables and a low tax on cigarettes and alcohol uh, with the idea that this you know, incentivizes bad behavior. That is hard for humanity to move away from fossil fuels and they are still away from tapping into renewables. But he's talking from the place of a millionaire from Silicon Valley that probably has a house that he owns that he can install all the solar panels that he wants. So for him to get tax relief on the renewables is a big business. But if you think of all the poor people that mm -hmm. do not have access to the benefit of renewable energy, imposing this type of tax will put a lot of poor people, the people that need these uh, fossil fuels the most, or that they use the products that, it, that, that burn fossil fuels in their process or in their cycle the most, they are going to be affected without seeing the benefits, other than the ones that we understand at the high level that we're protecting the earth, and that's important, but at the same time, we have to think of the implication of imposing this type of tax. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the problem here, right? Um, nobody wants to be burning these fossil fuels and ruining the environment. It's just what's cheapest. It's what we're used to. It's what the world is currently running on. Um, the problem is um, we're going to have to bite the bullet eventually, right? And, and when we start imposing these taxes, uh, it's going to hurt a lot of people. But for the long run, it's going to be good. So that's that's the problem here. Um, we got we to gotta change the way we, we, we use and consume, but we're also going to have to make some sacrifices and that's that's why it's tough and that's why you know we can't just like this stop what we're doing with the fossil fuels it, it takes time and, and it's going to affect a lot of people and one thing that further complicates the whole thing is the fact that in the united states this has become a partisan issue and as elon musk says this be goes beyond partisan affiliation it's not a left or right issue it's a global issue where we all have to participate the cop 21 agreement is trying to move away from fossil fuels by the end of the century completely take away fossil fuels from the modern economy but Elon Musk says we have to pay this carbon tax because it's like paying for people to pick up our trash. And since we can't prevent the burning of fossil fuels in the, style, the lifestyle that we have today, he thinks that taxing is the best option.